Love. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides, back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Rift Tracks the Game. This game is published and developed by Wide Right Interactive. Rift Tracks the Game is a multiplayer party game where players compete to make bad movies funny. Not only is this an easy 1000 gamer score or platinum trophy, but it's only $9.99. And there's actually a lot of value in that purchase because not only are you getting some easy achievements, but you're also getting a really cool party game. If you've ever played a Jackbox party game before, you're definitely going to enjoy this game. The game actually works fairly similar to those games, because you're going to have to basically use your phone as a controller. You can also use a computer's browser to play the game. So you can play it on your desktop, your laptop, your phone, anything that has an internet browser. To play the game, you're going to need to go to rifttracks.games in your internet browser. Once you get to the website, type in your name and then your room code, and then you'll enter the game and you'll be able to play. Now, this is an achievement guide, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the 1000 gamer score. And to do this, I wanna foreshadow that you're going to need to have at least three internet browsers open. Now, if you have the Google Chrome browser on your phone, you could play as one player in your regular browser, and then you could open up an incognito tab and use the incognito tab as player two. So that takes care of two out of the three players that you need to get the achievements. You could either download a separate browser off the app store, or you could simply go to rifttracks.games on a computer and create player three from the computer. Just know that we're going to be playing with three different players. Personally, I had two players on Google Chrome, one regular Google Chrome, and then one in the incognito tab. And then for player three, I downloaded a separate internet browser on my phone called Mozilla Firefox, and I logged in with player three via that separate browser. So while Rift Tracks, the game is best enjoyed with friends, for the sake of this walkthrough, we'll be playing this by herself on the three separate browsers. Like the popular Jackbox games, text entry is a critical part of playing this game. Anytime you enter text, it's going to be done via the rifttracks.game website. Because we'll need to simulate three players, you'll need to use one or two browsers with the incognito tabs. Once you have three separate browser tabs, go to rifttracks.games, open the game, and we'll go ahead and get started. First things first, let's go ahead and go to the options menu, and under gameplay settings, we wanna make sure that the bad word filter is on, and that the rift bot is also turned on. Let's go ahead and exit to the main menu and start up a new game. There's two separate game modes. We're gonna start off with the one on the left. It's called Write a Riff. We wanna go ahead and set it up for three rounds and make sure that ranked voting is off. All right, so a lot of editing and graphic design went into making this special guide for you guys. I also wanna give a shout out to the developer for giving me a ton of tips on the achievements. But for the sake of this guide, rounds and player input and voting, will be listed like this in these graphics. I think the graphics are really going to help you guys because otherwise I would have to tell you verbally what to enter on each of the three internet browsers for each of the three players. And I feel like with pure audio and you not being able to see the cell phone footage of the three different internet browsers would make it really hard to follow. So being that I'm not gonna be showing you the footage on the phone of me entering all this stuff, I'm gonna use these graphics to show you guys exactly what to enter. Now, keep in mind, we're gonna be playing about 12 games or so, and this is gonna take about an hour and a half to get your full 1,000 gamer score or platinum trophy. So basically, I have the graphics broken down like this. It'll say what game on the bottom we're playing, it will say what round of the game we're playing on the top, and then in the middle, it will tell you what to input or vote for. Now, to make this the easiest to follow, what you wanna do is name player one, player one. You wanna name player two, player two, and name player three, player three. We want to do this so we do not get lost. For example, on my Google Chrome browser on my phone, I had player one. With the incognito tab, it was player two. And then with the Mozilla Firefox browser, an extra browser on my phone, I had player three. And so I was able to access all three player inputs via my phone. I did have to switch apps, you know, back and forth between Firefox and Chrome and also between the incognito tabs and the regular Chrome, but this is the easiest way to get the achievements. So for round one, this is what you wanna input. Before I tell you guys exactly what to do, I wanna note you can pause the game. So it's gonna show you the video riff, and once the clock starts to input you know, what you wanna say, you can go ahead and press start on the controller and pause the clock. While it's paused, you can go ahead and prepare your answer on each of the three tabs. So right when the clock starts, go ahead and press start, and for player one, we want to press insert sound effects file. Go ahead and press any sound effect. On player two, we want to go ahead and type hello and then enter a sound effect. 
For player three, we want to submit any text right before the clock expires. So just type A or whatever you want in and then just press enter when the clock is down to one second. This is going to unlock the late tracks achievement worth 20 gamer score for submitting an answer at the last second. We should also be unlocking the fully artist achievement worth 20 gamer score for using a sound effect in Write the Riff. And third, we'll be unlocking an achievement called Onomatopoeia worth another 20 gamer score for submitting an answer in Write the Riff that's only a sound effect. So. After the input phase, we're going to have to vote. Now, what we want to do for the first round of voting is we want to have every player vote for the Rift bot joke. We're basically playing against a computer. We know what answers we typed in, so the computer's answer is going to stand out like a sore thumb. So make sure for round one of the voting phase that you vote for the computer's answer on each of the three player tabs. The answers for you are obviously going to be different from me as all of the Rifts are completely random. This is a party game, but I can still show you guys how to get the achievement. So, just make sure that you So, just make sure that you pick the answer that was generated by the computer. Now, we should be unlocking two achievements or trophies, one for voting for the Rift Bots Rift, basically the computer's answer, and also an achievement for getting no votes. All right, input on round two. For player one, you just wanna press A and submit it as quickly as possible. We have an achievement for submitting an answer right away. So just submit an answer right when the clock starts and you'll get an achievement for doing so. For player two and player three, also go ahead and just type in A. So with all three, we're gonna just type in A. All right, now for round two of voting, we're going to have all the players vote for the RiffBot answer once again. So just vote for the answer that was provided by the computer. Again, they stick out as all of the answers that we inputted were A. So whatever answer is not A, that's the one you want to vote for as that's the answer that the computer generated. We should also be unlocking an achievement or trophy called Synchronicity for having multiple players enter the same answer and write the riff. And now we are officially in the final round of our first game. All right, now for round three of input. All right, so they have an achievement for entering a word in talk to speech in a different language. So what you wanna do is go down to the TTS language on your browser, go ahead and press English and change it to something else. After that, we can just go ahead and type in hello. After that with player two, you just wanna type in A. And then with player three, you just wanna type in A. Now, if done correctly, we should unlock an achievement worth 50 gamer score called Verbal Communication Made Easy for submitting a riff using a non-English text-to-speak language. All right, for round three of voting, once again, we're gonna have everyone vote for the riff bot joke. At the end of the game, the riff bot will be declared the winner. You, on the other hand, will have just unlocked 13 achievements in this game. Specifically, we should be unlocking four achievements. The first one's called Explicit Choice, worth 10 gamer score for playing a game with the bad word filter on. We should also be unlocking an achievement called Disembodio's Revenge, worth 70 gamer score for having the Rift bot winning the game. And then we get an achievement called the Norman Krasner, worth 20 gamer score for receiving no votes for an entire game. And then finally, the Aspiring Writer achievement, worth 20 gamer score for completing a game in Write a Rift mode. After that, we're going to go ahead and quit and go back to the main menu, and we're going to start up game two. But before we get started, go to options and turn the riff bot off and turn the bad word filter on. It should still be on. Just make sure riff bot is off and bad word filter is on. After that, we can go ahead and start up a new game of write a riff, and we want to make sure this time we set it to five rounds with ranked voting off. After that, we can go ahead and start up the game and go ahead and connect each of your three tabs to the game for players one, two, and three, and we can go ahead and get started. All right, time for round one input. For player one, we need to type in an answer that's more than 90 characters long. So just type until it doesn't let you type anymore and then submit your answer for player one. For player two, we're going to press the button that says select riff for me. This is basically going to have the computer select the answer for you. And for player three, we're just going to type in A. It's only grass. I'm not a dope fiend. Achievements, 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 achieve. All right, now time for round one voting. We're going to have player two and three vote for player one. 
We're going to have player one vote for player three. Now, we should be unlocking two achievements right here. One called No Character Limit, worth 20 gamer score, for winning a round with a rift that's at least 90 characters long. We also got the High Bob Executive Achievement, worth 40 gamer score, for receiving all the votes in a round. And next, it's time for round two of input. For player one, just type in text. For player two, you want to press that Riff For Me button once again. And for player three, we're just going to type in A. Time for round two of voting. Once again, we're going to have players two and three vote for player one. And player one's going to vote for player three. At the end of the round, we should be unlocking the Word Mincer achievement worth 20 gamer score for winning a round with one answer. Now time for round three of input. For player one, just type in text. For player two, press the Riff For Me button. And for player three, just type in A. Time for round three of voting. Once again, we're going to have players two and three vote for player one, and player one is going to vote for player three. All right, for round four of input, we're going to do the same thing. Player one is going to enter in the word text, player two is going to press the Riff For Me button, and player three is going to type in A. Now for round four of voting, once again, Player 2 and 3 are going to vote for player 1, and player 1 is going to vote for player 3. At the end of this round, we should be unlocking an achievement called Self Plagiarism for winning more than one round of a game using the same riff. Alright, on to round 5. For round 5, we're going to do the same thing as the previous two rounds. Player 1 is going to type in text, player 2 is going to press the Riff For Me button, and player 3 is going to type in A. Time for round five of voting. Same thing here. Players two and three are going to vote for player one, and player one is going to vote for player three. Player one will end up winning the match. After this, player one will end up winning the match and will unlock the achievement called Leave It to the Professionals, worth 20 gamer score, for using the Riff for Me option in every round of Write the Riff mode. All right, next let's go ahead and get started on our third game. We're going to start up write a riff mode once again, but this time we're going to change it to three rounds. After that, go ahead and connect all three players or browser tabs, and we're going to start up our third game. Now, in game three, we're going to input all the same answers for all three rounds. So in all three rounds, you want to input the same thing. For player one, we're always going to type player one. For player two, we're going to type A. For player three, we're going to type A. And again, we're doing this for all three rounds. So anytime you have an opportunity to type in an answer, again, we're typing in player one with player one. We're typing in A for player two and A for player three. Now, same thing with voting. We're going to vote the same all three rounds in this game. Every time you have an opportunity to vote, we're always going to vote for player one. So players two and three will vote for player one. Player one can't vote for themselves. So you're just going to vote for the only answer available, which is A, because players 2 and 3 type the same answer. So basically when you're voting for player 1, you're kind of voting for player 2 and 3 at the same time. And basically we're going to do this for all three rounds. Make sure you vote the same way and make sure that you input the same options for all three. Feel free to refer back to the graphic if you forget what to input. But for all of game 3, we're inputting and voting for the same things. After completing the third round, you're going to unlock an achievement called More Dangerous Than Dynamite worth 40 gamer score for winning every round in a game. We'll also be unlocking an achievement called the Old Double Deuce worth 40 gamer score for winning the game with double points of second place. After that, it's very important that you press play again because this will start a game with the same players. And we have an achievement that we're going to try to get called Friends Through Eternity worth 100 gamer score for playing five games in a row with the same players. So make sure to press play again and we're going to start up game four. We're actually going to be playing game four the same way that we played game three. For all rounds, we want to input the same thing, which is for player one, we're going to type in player one. For player two, we're going to type in A. For player three, we're also going to type in A. When it comes to voting, Every single player is going to vote for player one, and player one is going to vote for the answer that says A, which is technically player two and three's answer at the same time. After three rounds, player one will end up winning the game, and you should be unlocking an achievement called Rift Tracks Party worth 20 gamer score for playing two games in a row with the same players. We should also be unlocking an achievement worth 50 gamer score called the Riffing Turkey for winning three games in a row. 
All right, guys, the main achievement that we're going for now is called Friends Through Eternity. We're playing five games in a row with the same people, so we need to rinse and repeat the process that we just went through for this last game three more times, specifically games five, six, and seven, and we'll unlock the Friends for Eternity achievement for playing five games in a row with the same people. That means for the next three games, five, six, and seven, I want you guys to rinse and repeat the process that we just did. The quickest way to get through these games is the way I've just been showing you guys. For every single round, you want to type in player one for player one. For player two, you're gonna type in A, and for player three, you're gonna type in A. When it comes to voting, we're gonna vote for player one's answer, which is player one, every single time, and then player one is going to vote for the only answer available, which is A. You're gonna do this over and over again for all three rounds in each of the next games, specifically for the next three games, which is games five, six, and seven. After you complete game five, you'll unlock the Super Traxian achievement or 30 gamer score for playing five games. After game five, go ahead and press play again, and we're gonna do the same thing we just did the past few games. I know it probably feels redundant, but game six, we're going to type in player one with player one every single round, and for players two and three, you're going to type in A every single round. When it comes to voting, everybody's going to vote for player one, and player one is going to vote for the only option available, which is A. All right, guys, and after we get first place in game six, we need to rinse and repeat that process just one more time for game seven. And after we get first place in game seven, we'll get the Friends for Eternity achievement for playing five games in a row with the same people. So after game six, press play again, and we're gonna do the same thing. For every round, we're gonna type in player one for player one. We're gonna type in A with player two. We're also gonna type in A with player three. You're gonna do this for all three rounds. I'm sure you know by now, we vote for player one and player one votes for A. After you finish game seven, which is also our fifth game in a row, we'll unlock an achievement worth 100 gamer score called Friends Through Eternity. We're playing five games in a row with the same party. All right, guys, and at this point, we're gonna go ahead and try out the second mode. But before we do that, go to options and just make sure the Rift bot is off. After that, we can go ahead and start up a game. This time we're going to go ahead and select the pick a riff mode. Once you get to the blue screen, go ahead and change the round count to 10, as we're going to need to play a 10 round game of pick a riff. The cool thing about this mode is we can actually play in single player. So just connect one player, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and start it up on round one. Now first, we're going to start off by selecting get new riffs at the bottom of your page on your phone or your browser. After that, Go ahead and select a riff. This is going to unlock the professional jokes achievement worth 20 gamer score for using the get new riffs button. We'll also be unlocking an achievement called first time picker for picking your first riff in pick a riff mode. Now at this point we just need to finish the 10 rounds so just go ahead and play through it. Pick any riff you would like for all 10 rounds. Buddy. The CBD lemon drops kicked in. Until you go ahead and complete the game. Once you complete the game, you're going to get an achievement for finishing a game with the maximum amount of rounds. We're also going to unlock the Aspiring Picker achievement for completing a game in Pick a Riff mode. And next, we're going to be going for an achievement for playing 10 games. To do this, we can easily rack up some wins in Pick a Riff mode, primarily because there's just no voting in this mode. So simply start up Pick a Riff mode by yourself and make sure that you start it up with three rounds. Three rounds in Pick a Riff will fly by. We're going to need to do this for game 9 and then for game 10. And for all three rounds of this game, you can go ahead and select any riff that you want. In this mode, you don't even type it in. You just pick an answer. So just pick an answer three different times. And then we're going to rinse and repeat this process one more time for our 10th game. After you play two quick games of pick a riff, only three rounds each, you should get the achievement called Ultra Taxian for playing 10 games. At this point, we only have one achievement or trophy left, and it's called Haveroni for winning a game after being in last place at the start of the final round. To do this, we're gonna go ahead and start up a game of Write a Riff. Make sure that you have it on three rounds, and we can go ahead and start it up. You're gonna need to do the method from earlier with three different tabs so that you have three different players. Go ahead and start up the game, and when it comes to input for round one, you simply wanna type in player one for player one, you want to type in player two with player two, and you want to type in player three for player three. This will help us keep track of whose answers are which. All right, when it comes to voting in round one, player one needs to vote for player two. Player two needs to vote for player three, and player three needs to vote for player one. Basically, 
Each of the players are getting a vote. If you did it correctly, at the end of round one, each player should have 100 points. All right, so now round two of the game. Once again, we're just gonna type in player one with player one. We're gonna type in player two with player two. And we're gonna type in player three for player three in effort to keep track of whose answer is whose. Now, the important part, voting for round two. Player one is going to vote for player two. But this time, player two and player three are going to vote for player one. If we did it correctly, player one should have 600 points, player two should have 300, and player three should have 100. All right, round three. Same thing as last time. We're gonna type in player one with player one. We're gonna type in player two with player two. We're gonna type in player three with player three. Now, the most important part, the voting in round three. Player one is going to vote for player three. Player two is going to vote for player three. Player three is going to vote for player two. If you did this correctly, player three will win with 850 points and you'll unlock your final achievement or trophy called Haveroni worth 50 gamer score for winning a game after being in last place at the start of the final round. And at this point, you should have your full 1000G out of 1000G. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 12 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, Kegger101, Kana25, and GamertagNation.com. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.